Welcome to this Giftworks video. In this video, I want to talk all about the integration between Giftworks and your social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Many of you use those social networks to keep in contact with your friends and your family and your colleagues and even your donors. I want to show you how easy it is to get set up and get connected with your social networks inside of Giftworks and some of the benefits and features that you'll find in Giftworks. Let me first start by showing you my social networks. I'm going to bring up my Facebook page. I have a personal Facebook page like many of you do and I also have an organizational page and this is under uh, under the little thing on the right hand side just click on Giftworks fundraising and that's my that's my organizations or my work page. Many of you probably have a personal page and then you also have an organizational page. If you know if you've got this set up you probably know that you need a personal Facebook account to be able to create a Facebook page. And then you have both a Facebook, a personal Facebook uh, aspect and then also your organizational page. I also have a Twitter account. And on my Twitter account, I have, instead of having a personal Twitter account, which I do have a personal Twitter account, but the Twitter account that I'm gonna be using with Giftworks is actually my organization's Twitter account. So you can, many of you probably have a personal Twitter account and you may have an organizational Twitter account. Like Facebook requires you to have both a personal account and a Facebook page for your organization, Twitter you can just have an organizational account. So you're sending out tweets from your account, you're following other people, and other people are following you. And the last thing I have is a LinkedIn page and a LinkedIn account. Uh, on my LinkedIn account, I have uh, connections with colleagues and other work connections. Uh, just like, uh, sort of like Facebook, you have a personal LinkedIn account. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have an organizational LinkedIn account. So we have a Facebook personal account and then an organizational page. Uh, you can either have a personal account or an organizational Twitter account and then a personal LinkedIn page. And those are the three social networks that I'm going to get hooked up inside of Giftworks. Let's head over to Giftworks. So in Giftworks, I'm here at Giftworks and I want to get set up with my social networks right inside of Giftworks. I'm not going to go to the settings area, which some of you may think that you should go to, but actually because everybody in your organization that's using Giftworks, meaning each person that uses Giftworks, will actually set up their own social network accounts. So instead of going to the settings area, which typically deals with settings across the entire organization or through all of Giftworks, meaning everyone using Giftworks, I'm actually going to stay on the home page under this change my settings option. Under change my settings, I'm going to click on configure Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And there's three options here to, to configure each of the social networks. And I'm going to start with Facebook. Each process is a really a simple two-step process to get hooked up to all the social networks. So I'm going to start with Facebook by clicking on this button right here to sign in with Facebook. And a, and a window will come up that allows me to log in using my Facebook username and password. And I'm going to do that right now. You can disregard this Keep Me Logged Into Giftworks. Just click on Log In, and Giftworks will uh, verify that Giftworks fundraising software is attempting to kind of begin to talk with Facebook. So I'm going to click on Log In with Facebook. And then it's going to ask me what kinds of things uh, do I want to allow Giftworks to do. Uh, things like managing pages, posting on your behalf, accessing posts. Giftworks will post nothing unless you tell it to, which I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. And generally, we'll be reading a lot of your news feed and different things like that. And so I'm going to allow it. And now it's going to give me back a security code. And I'm going to highlight that security code. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to close this window. And then I'm going to paste this, right click and paste this code right into here. This security code is basically the code that allows Giftworks to speak with Facebook. And I'm going to click on finish. And I've successfully connected to Facebook. Now, once I've successfully connected to Facebook, I'm going to move on to Twitter and LinkedIn and follow pretty much the same exact process. I'm going to sign in with Twitter. A window is going to pop up asking me, do you want to give Giftworks permission? And I'm going to use my Giftworks account. So I'm not going to be using my, I could, at this point, you could choose to either use your personal uh, Twitter account or you could use your organization's Twitter account. I'm going to use my organizational account and I'm going to put in my password and click on Authorize App. And it's going to give me a PIN code back, another security code. And I'm going to highlight this security code. I'm going to right click and copy it. I'm going to close this window and I'm going to paste it right into here. Once I paste that in, I can click on Finish. And if everything goes right too, I have successfully connected to Twitter. And I'm going to repeat that same exact process with LinkedIn. I'm going to sign in to LinkedIn using my email address and password 
And once I do that, I have a pin code. I'm going to right click and paste the pin code in here and click on finish. And now I've successfully connected to LinkedIn. And now I've successfully connected to all my social networks. It was just that easy. And now I'm ready to see what kind of benefit I have of that inside of Giftworks. And to check that out first, I'm going to go right back to my homepage. On my homepage, I have the ability to add a brand new widget called a social news feed. Let me add it for you right now. Click on the customize link on the left hand side. And I'm going to look down the list to find the social news feed. I'm actually going to move it to the top just so that we can see it. And what we'll see is that it's going to load up recent posts from Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Uh, and so you see some Twitter, we have so many tweets coming in that they just kind of come in at, you know, they're, they're coming in every, almost every couple seconds. I see tweets coming in. I see LinkedIn um, messages. I see Facebook posts, and they're all kind of mixed in here. Now, I want to make sure you understand clearly what you're looking at. You're looking at posts from Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. These would be the news feeds from each of your social networks. So if I go over to Facebook, you're going to see that these would be the um, these would be the posts that are coming in from my friends. So really, all the things that my friends are posting, I see on my news feed on Facebook, and I see them kind of listed here. So um, when we kind of look at them, we're seeing really news that's coming in from my friends. The same thing for Twitter. What I'm seeing is all the tweets that are coming in from all the people that I'm following. And then from LinkedIn, they would really be the messages that the people I'm connected with are, are posting. They're called, I think they're called updates in LinkedIn. So these things are gonna, so if I find my first LinkedIn uh, update, I should see something from this guy named Skip. So I'm gonna go back to Giftworks and um, there I go, I see Skip down there. So you're, you're seeing really a composite or a uh, aggregation of all your social news that's coming in. So it would be all your the posts that your friends are doing, all the tweeting that your follow that your those you're following are doing, and all the updates or the messages from your LinkedIn connections. And that's what you're seeing here. What we give you the ability to do is to be able to instead of having to go to each of the social networks independently, we give you a, a nice little widget here to view it all together. You can even uh, limit it if you'd like. If you don't want to see all your tweets, perhaps you can just un come to this little widget option over here on the right-hand side and just load it back up. And now you'll just see Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. Uh, perhaps if I don't even want to view my personal Facebook, I can just add, maybe I just want to, instead of view viewing my personal Facebook, I want to see the, and you'll notice over here, down here, you're going to see the pages that you have as well, so your organizational pages. So maybe you just want to see the posts associated with your personal organ. I mean, with your organization page. So right now I'm seeing different LinkedIn connections, but also I see my GiftWorks um, GiftWorks posts that have been going on on my organizational page. So let me just go to. I'm going to get rid of LinkedIn, and I'm just going to re-add my Twitter. So now what I'm looking at is my organization's Twitter account plus my um, GiftWorks fundraising page, my organizational page together. Now these are just these are kind of staying separate, but it's only because the amount of tweets that are coming in are so great. We load up a certain number of tweets, and so depending on the time, these really are sorted by date and time. So they'll typically be uh, like, kind of like commingled. They're not really. Uh, they don't. It just happens to be coming out this way right now. So that's that's one benefit that I get from the, integra the integration between GiftWorks and my social networks. I have this social news feed. Let's move on to the next benefit that we include in GiftWorks and with that in your social network. So let's head over to a donor. And we're going to pull up a donor in particular. Let's pull up Jonathan. I'm going to double click on him. And I'm going to edit Jonathan at the bottom. So another benefit that we include in terms of GiftWorks and your social networks is the ability to view into your donor's social activity. So you'll notice that there's three new fields that have been added in GiftWorks. Uh, their Facebook ID, their LinkedIn URL, and their Twitter handle. Those are the three uh, usernames, if you will, for each of the social networks. Facebook's use, Facebook uses an ID, LinkedIn uses a whole URL, and Twitter uses something called a handle or kind of like a username. Now you can actually go over to your social network. So let me go over to my social network. Let's go over to Facebook, and I'm just going to look up Jonathan. Oops, let's look. There you go, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan is the lead developer for GiftWorks, and he, I could just pull out his username here at the top, Jonathan G. Lehman, and I could do the same for Twitter if I wanted to look him up. Uh, so we can find Jonathan. He's around here somewhere. Oh, I'm not even sure if he's following GiftWorks. So let me see if I can find him. Let's see if I can find Jonathan. 
There we go. I see him right there. So there's Jonathan right there on Twitter and on LinkedIn. I'm sure he's here somewhere as well. We'll find. It's, and there he is right there. So we, we see he's he's available on each of my um, he's on available on each of my social networks. I could get his Facebook ID here. I could get his Twitter handle. Uh, I could get his Twitter handle right here. It's at John J G Layman, and I could get his public URL by looking at right here. So I could pull those back if I wanted to. But one of the things that we do build into GiftWorks that makes it a little bit easier is this little magnifying glass that you can search for these rather than having to go and copy and paste. So I'm going to click on this and a window is going to come up that's going to search for Jonathan. Now if I search for down here, I see that he's swinging a golf club down at the bottom and I'm going to click select. What that's going to do is just put his Facebook ID right in there. I'm going to go over to Twitter, Twitter handle and repeat the process. And I'm going to see that there he is down on the list. Simply click, click select. Now what it's also doing every time I pull that up, it's actually using his display name up at the top here. So the display name that's right here, just to do a quick search. If I thought I might be able to find him a little bit better a different way, I would simply, I can simply type in, a, you know, something else. Uh, and just click on enter and find him there. So you can use the different, try to find, try to use different search terms to find him. And then I'm going to repeat the process for LinkedIn. So I see there he is right there. So I see I have now have his Facebook ID, his Twitter handle, and his LinkedIn URL there, and I can click Save. Now, some of the benefits I get from that is I'm going to go to the Social tab. Social tab is a brand new tab that we've included starting in GiftWorks 2013. And with that, I'm going to see the Social Profiles uh, section right at the top, which shows it pulls in his pictures from his social media, from his social networks. So I see his Facebook picture and his Twitter picture and his LinkedIn picture. You can see the little icon right there. I can also click on the View Profile link to just learn a little bit about him. Not, we, we don't uh, pull a lot of information back, just some basic profile. It's really public profile information that's available from each of the social networks. So I see some basic so Facebook, some basic Twitter, some who, uh, how many followers he has, how many people he's following, and so on. And then also some basic LinkedIn information. So you can learn a little bit through there. And then at the bottom, under his recent activity, this is where I can begin to see and learn more about his activity uh, in, uh, with regards to his social, uh, social networks. So I see that there's some Facebook posts for Jonathan. I see some things that he's been posting. I see some tweets he's been doing. Um, he doesn't have any recent uh, LinkedIn activity. So, but what I can do on the right-hand side, similar to the widget on the homepage, the social feed, I can also limit based on the different networks. So if I don't want to see any Facebook, I just want to see his Twitter activity. Um, or if I want to just see his, uh, or just, uh, sorry, face, I saw Twitter and LinkedIn before. If I just want to see his Twitter, I can do that as well. And I can also say, sh say show less or show more posts, and I'll see more information. So you can see how not only as you're here, you can kind of learn a little bit of by, by seeing his donor information, but also by seeing his posts. Keep in mind, this is different than the widget on the homepage, where the widget on the homepage was showing you your news from all the different social networks, really the news feeds from the social networks. This is showing the particular posts that appear on, on in this case, on Jonathan's wall. So if I go back to Facebook, these are basically the things that I see on, this is Jonathan's wall that I'm looking at right now. I did, I post, posted something on his wall, so I'll see that, but I also see all the different things that he has posted. So these are the things that he finds important, the things that he's up to. Um, I can also see his latest tweets. So if I can look at, I look at his tweets, I'll see that he said hello world and said something to another developer here at Giftworks. And I'm gonna go back and see that inside of Giftworks. So I'll see his tweets, I see how, see how he says hello world and says hi to Mike. I see all the other important things that he's been doing in Facebook. So by looking at this inside of a donor, you're able to kind of get caught up a little bit with this specific donor to see what they're up to. And then uh, when you're kind of, maybe you wanna do a little bit of communication with this donor, maybe you wanna interact with them in some way uh, regarding the social network. So, so, and three things, three tools that we've built in on the left-hand side, you're actually able to send messages. And we include three things. First of all, you can write on his Facebook wall. Uh, you can send him a tweet, or you could send him a Twitter direct message. So I'm just gonna write on his Facebook wall, and I'll just say, hi, Jonathan. I am doing a demo, and I hope you like it. And I'm gonna write on his wall. Now, keep in mind that if you were not friends, in this case, I happen to be friends with Jonathan, so I'm able to write on his wall. I have permission to do that. 
Um, if you weren't, Giftworks would prevent you. You are not able to circumvent any of the security related to the social networks. If a person has protected tweets or they don't write, permit people to write on their wall or you're not friends with them or you're not following and things like that, Giftworks will enforce the same kind of restrictions that your social networks do. Uh, so don't, uh, by doing this, you're not able to access any information that you wouldn't normally be able to access through their through the social network sites as well. So I'm going to go over to um, go over to Facebook and I'm going to see his. Uh, I'm going to just refresh this. We'll see that I've posted on his wall. Hi, Jonathan. I'm doing a demo and I hope you like it. You'll notice it's from me, but it says via Giftworks right here. So it's it's Giftworks posted on my behalf, but it, so it does let the the uh, end person know. In this case, Jonathan. It lets him know that I did say something to it, but I did it through Giftworks. So. Um, keep in mind that, that uh, that's kind of how it's representing this when you post on someone's wall. Well, let me go back now, and we are going to, uh, n instead of posting on a wall, we're actually going to send a tweet now. So if you're familiar with Twitter, I can actually just tweet Jonathan by just saying, uh, Hi, Jonathan. Hope you are doing well. And take out an extra space and then click on Tweet. And I'm just going to tweet him. So I basically tweeted, tweeted out to him. Now, to see that, I would actually have to go to my own Twitter. I'm going to go to my home page of my own Twitter, and I see that I've tweeted to Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hope you're doing well. So Jonathan now would see that on his tweets that came in from me. Um, it's from Giftworks, keep in mind, in this case, because I, I'm, connected to my social, I'm connected to Twitter using my Giftworks account. So I might say, if I'm going back, I might say something like, you know, I might just tweet and say, thanks for being a... Uh, loyal supporter of Giftworks and just tweet that out. And I'll go back to my Twitter and I'll actually see, oops, go to my Twitter there and I see thanks, Jonathan, thanks for being a loyal supporter of Giftworks. Now, if I go back to Giftworks, the last thing I can do is not just send a, I wrote on a Facebook wall, on his Facebook wall, send him a tweet, but I can also send him a direct message. And if you're familiar with direct messaging, direct messaging is sort of like an email, but it's like, it's private tweeting to, uh, to a, a person. So I'm going to send him a direct message. Now, I won't be able to see this, but I will be able to see what I send out. And I'll just say, um, would you consider giving? And I'll send him a message. And I'm going to go over to Twitter. I won't be able to see, I'll only be able to see under direct messages what I sent him. And I don't even know if I can actually see it through this way. So let me go here. I would kind of need him to respond. Oh, there you go. I sent it to Jonathan. So would you consider giving? So this was going out. Um, I would wait for Jonathan to reply to me, and then I'd see the reply from Jonathan. So this is a direct message. It's not public. So I won't see that this has been tweeted out. It's just a direct message. So you can kind of communicate using some of the communication tools we've built in terms of your social networks to write on a, a wall, send a tweet, or send a direct message. Now those social networks, social network connections inside of Giftworks, uh, we hope uh, you'll be able to utilize those uh, in terms of developing and deepening your connections with your donors, learning more about what's going on with your donors at any given time by being able to, to see what's going on in their lives, uh, maybe hopefully communicate with them in ways that encourage not only their commitment to your organization, but perhaps even contribution to your organization. And as I look at that, we, we hope that uh, you, the social network allows you to just maintain and build those relationships with your donors that lead to the kind of support that you'll need to accomplish your mission. So thanks for taking time to watch this video. Keep an eye out for other videos that help you to learn more features about Giftworks.